Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about infinite series. First, let's get to know some of these terms. Sequence. Sequence of numbers is a succession of numbers formed according to some fixed rule. Thus, 1, 8, 27, 64, and so on is a sequence having the rule that n term is by n raised to 3. On the other hand, series is the indicated sum of a sequence of numbers. Thus, for the sequence u sub 1, u sub 2, u sub 3, and so on, the corresponding series is given by u sub 1 plus u sub 2 plus u sub 3 plus ellipsis, and so on. Now, there are two types of series. The first is the finite series. A finite series is a series in which the number of terms is limited. And if the number of terms is unlimited, it is known as an infinite series. The general term of a series is an expression involving n such that by taking n equal to 1, 2, or 3, one obtains the first, second, third, and so on term of the series. Let's have some examples. Problem number one. Find the first three terms and then n plus one term of the series whose nth term is n minus 1 over 2n plus 1. For our solution, let us write our nth term, u sub n, is equal to n minus 1 over 2n plus 1. Now here, since we are asked to solve for the first three terms and the n plus 1 term, we are going to replace n by, for our first term, n equal to 1, our u sub 1, or the first term, is equal to 1 minus 1 over 2 times 1 plus 1. Our first term is equal to 0. Now for our second term, where n is equal to 2, we have so 2 minus 1 over 2 times 2 plus 1. Our second term is 1 over 5. And for the third term, where n is equal to 3, this is 3 minus 1 over 2 times 3 plus 1. So our third term is 2 over 7. Now for the n plus 1 term, replacing n by n plus 1, we have the n plus 1 minus 1 over 2 times the quantity n plus 1 plus 1 is n over 2n plus 3. Now, the first three terms and the n plus 1 term are 0, 1 over 5, 2 over 7, and n over 2n plus 3 as our n plus 1 term. Now, if you are asked to express your answers in terms of the infinite series, so taking note that the infinite series u sub 1 plus u sub 2 plus u sub 3 and so on, then the infinite series will be 0 plus 1 over 5 plus 2 over 7 plus you have the ellipsis. Our nth term is n minus 1 over 2n plus 1 plus the n plus 1 term, which is n over 2n plus 3. Let's go to example number 2. Find the first four terms in the n plus 1 term of the series whose nth term is 2n or 2 raised to n over n times n plus 1. First, we write u sub n equal to 2 raised to n over n times n plus 1. It follows that at n equal to 1, our first term is 2 raised to 1 over 1 times the quantity 1 plus 1. We have 1 as our first term. For n equal to 2, our second term is 2 raised to 2, that is 4, over 2 times 2 plus 1, so this will be 6. So 4 over 6 will be, if we simplify, the answer is 2 over 3. 
Now for our third term, where n is equal to 3, it will be 2 raised to 3 over 3 times 3 plus 1. Now 2 raised to 3 is equal to 8. 8 divided by, so here 4 times 3 is 12. So 8 over 12 is equal to 2 over 3. Now for our fourth term, where n is equal to 4, 2 raised to 4 over 4 times 4 plus 1. If we simplify this, the answer is 4 over 5. Now for the n plus 1 term, or our u sub n plus 1, replacing n by n plus 1, we have this expression, 2 raised to n plus 1 over the quantity n plus 1 times n plus 1 plus 1, or basically multiplying n plus 1 by n plus 2, so we have n squared plus 3n plus 2. Therefore, the first four terms and the n plus 1 term are 1, 2 thirds, 2 thirds, 4 over 5, 2 raised to n plus 1 over n squared plus 3n plus 2. Example number 3. Find the nth term for the series 1 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 9 plus 1 over 16 and so on. Now observing through the first four terms to establish the nth term. So since u sub 1 is equal to 1, so we can say that 1 over the square of n is equal to 1. Now for our second term, which is 1 fourth or 1 over 4, it is equal to applying the same idea for our first term. So 1 over the square of our n equal to 2 is 4. For our third term, where n is equal to 3, so 1 over 3 squared is equal to 1 over 9. And for our fourth term, where n is equal to 4, so 1 over 4 squared is 1 over 16, it follows that our nth term is equal to 1 over n squared. Therefore, our nth term, or our u sub n, is equal to 1 over n squared. Example number four, find the nth term of the series one plus x over two factorial plus x squared over three factorial plus x cubed over four factorial and so on. To establish the nth term, since u sub one is equal to one, so we can say that x raised to one minus one, so in this case, x raised to zero is one, over one factorial is still equal to one. Observing through the second term, u sub 2, the same idea here. So x raised to our n is 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. We have x and n is equal to 2. So 2 factorial is equal to this term. Now for our third term, serving the same idea. So x raised to 3 minus 1 is equal to x squared over 3 factorial. Now for our fourth term as at n equal to 4, so x raised to 4 minus 1 is equal to x cubed. And we have n is equal to 4 for our denominator, so 4 factorial. It follows that our u sub n is equal to, or the nth term is equal to, x raised to n minus 1 over n factorial. Problem number 5. Find an nth term for this series, 3 over 1 times 2 minus 5 over 3 times 4 plus 7 over 5 times 6 minus 9 over 7 times 8 plus 11 over 9 times 10 and so on. So observe that the, the series contains an alternating sign. Now this should be taken into consideration for writing or for determining our nth term. Since u sub 1 is equal to 3 over 1 times 2, and considering that n is equal to 1 here, and having a positive sign, we have negative 1 raised to 1 minus 1 to make this a positive sign. And for the numerator, which is 3, we can say that 2 times 1 plus 1 is equal to this value over 
we have the factors 1 times 2. So for the first factor, we can say 2 times 1 minus 1 is equal to 1, and 2 times 1 is equal to 2. Now let's observe the second term, which is 5 over 3 times 4. Now for the sign negative, we can say that negative 1, the same idea for our first term, negative 1 raised to 2 minus 1 will give us a negative sign. And for the numerator, which is 5, 2 times 2 plus 1 is equal to 5. And for the first factor in the denominator, we have 2 times 2 minus 1 is 3, 2 times 2 is 4. Observing the same idea for our third term, 7 over 5 times 6. So the sign should be positive. So we can say negative 1 raised to 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. Negative 1 raised to 2 is positive. So the sign here is correct. For the numerator uh, 7, we have 2 times 3. N is, N is 3. So 2 times 3, 6 plus 1 is 7. And for the denominator, which is 5 times 6, for the first factor of 5, 2 times 3, 6 minus 1 is 5, correct? And 2 times N equal to 3, so 6. Correct. Now for the fourth term, which is 9 over 7 over 8, and for the sign negative, we have negative 1 raised to 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. Negative 1 raised to an odd number is negative, so the sign is correct. 2 times n equal to 4, so that's 8 plus 1 is 9. And for the denominator, it should be 7 for the first factor, so okay, 2 times 4 is 8 minus 1 is 7. 2 times 4 is 8. And for the first, fifth term, positive signs, so a negative 1 raised to 5 minus 1 is positive. For the numerator, 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1 is 11. The denominator should be 9 and 10. So 2 times 5, n is equal to 5. So 10 minus 1 is 9. And 2 times 5 is 10. So we can say that our nth term, or u sub n, is equal to negative 1 raised to n minus 1 times the quantity for the numerator, 2 times n plus 1, over the quantity 2 times n minus 1 for the first factor, and yeah, 2 times n for the second factor. Therefore, this is our nth term. Negative 1 raised to n minus 1, times 2n plus 1 over the product of 2n minus 1 and 2 times n.